you're here for the the red shirt union meeting today I, I don't know if Devin's told you a whole heck of a lot about it but uh, uh, being being a red shirt yourself uh, in one of the episodes of Star Trek uh, uh, apparently you are their queen well I was the only female red shirt to die in the line of duty I'm told so I guess the question we always want to ask is when you go into wardrobe back in the 60s to do this show were you concerned when they give you the red shirt no I we knew no People interview and want to know what it was like, you know, being part of such a, an iconic. We knew nothing. It was a, it was a job. It was a television job. We had no idea it was going to become as important and significant as the whole franchise has become. It's crazy. Now I remember reading um, online about about you a little bit, and when you first uh, got on the set, you were very young. And, and here you are thrown in, you know, with, with yeah, and here you are thrown in with, with, with Leonard and, and, uh, and Bill Shatner and DeForest Kelly and all these guys. How was that for you? I had known Leonard Nimoy. He'd been an acting teacher of mine when I was even younger than young. So he was wonderful. And Leonard ne and uh, Bill Shatner had done a very wonderful film with my father, Lee J. Cobb, the brothers Karamazov. So he was, everyone was wonderful to me. The director was Mark Daniels, and they helped me a lot. I was nervous and young. Uh, well, once you got on set and uh, uh, you had a chance to actually get in there and relax, it was it was it overall a good experience? Oh, it was wonderful. Everyone was sweet. You know, in those days before high def and before the technology, we had, they, you wore makeup that was an inch thick, and it was orange because that's how it, it looked good in color TV. So it was shocking. You made up that I had that big hair. So that was an experience, but oh, the shooting was fabulous. Well, Rosemary, let's talk to you. Second generation Star That's Trek right. Access. Uh, or, uh, you made it onto uh, a Voyager in one of your one of your first roles. Yes. Uh, uh, obviously, you compared notes with your mom. What, was it a lot different? Was your experience a lot different? I think so. I don't remember asking her too many questions at the time about her experience, but. Um, I had, you know, uh, ridges on my forehead, so I had a lot of makeup and time and prep to do with that, and um, playing a, you know, an alien bad guy, mostly. Um, it's always interesting to ask, you know, where because uh, we don't get to play aliens very often. Where did your motivation come from? <laughs> well, my character was just a girl trying to do the right thing, I think. And uh, ultimately, no, ultimately, I I became the at the end. So um, yeah, I could understand the the character. She wanted to be a grown up, and do the right thing. Well, ladies, uh, we wish you all the best here with the Red Union uh, meeting today, and. Uh, uh, all hail the red shirts. Thank all you. hail. Thank you. <laughs>